G'day guys and welcome back to another video on the True Footy YouTube channel. I'm joined once again by Druzy. And today we're going to be taking a look at some of the best performances in AFL Grand Finals that didn't win Norm Smith medals. Uh, Druzy, you were at the Grand Final on Saturday and yes. you witnessed Bailey Fritch firsthand. What did you think of his performance? Yeah, I thought he was going to be best on, to be honest. Obviously, I wasn't just refreshing the disposals and whatnot, but Bailey Fritch, every, every time it went to him, he was so dangerous. Yeah, I was thinking along similar lines and that's what's kind of inspired this video, uh, to looking at at some of the better players in grand finals who weren't awarded a medal. We're going to do a bit more of a very recent sort of look at this. There's some historic ones that some people know about, like Jason Graham, Stewie Jew in 2008, Brennan Goddard as well in 2010. But today we're going to look at the years after 2015. Before we crack into the video, do be aware that this video is brought to you by Manscaped.com, the sponsors of the True Footy channel, and they are the global leaders in male grooming products. If you want 20% off and free shipping on their elite ball grooming products, make sure you head to the web tab, Manscaped.com and use the code TRUEFOOTY20, all caps, all one word. Like I said, 20% off, free shipping. Let's get into it. I'll kick us off, Druzy, with the 2015 Grand Final. I thought about giving this one to you, but I thought I'd kick you well away from the one where the Eagles got slaughtered. Hawthorne, of course, played West Coast and demolished them by 46 points in a very one-sided Grand Final. Rioli was the actual Norm Smith medalist that day, but I looked back on the stats and he had 18 possessions and two goals, so not really the sort of performance yeah, right. that would uh, that would really speak to winning a Norm Smith medal. He was certainly very good and kicked some very crucial goals, but uh, in terms of output, that's probably one of the lowest counts for for a Norm Smith medalist. The player I was going to highlight is Sam Mitchell. He had 34 possessions, six clearances, two goal assists in a dominant Hawthorne performance. And there were certainly a few it could have gone to, and I'm not saying it was necessarily better than Cyril Rioli's performance, but it could have been justifiably the medal around his neck instead. Mitchell was a Brownlow medalist. He won four premierships, but the Norm Smith medal was eluded a- Eluded him. It eluded him, thank you. Next, we're going to be looking at the 2016 grand final between the Western Bullfrogs and the Sydney Swans. One of the most upsetting grand finals in recent memory given that the Bulldogs won it from the 8th position and uh, they could have been 7th yeah. There was a, a few players who this could have been obviously it went to Jason Johannesson who had 33 touches and 8 rebound 50s Josh Kennedy had an outstanding game for Sydney regardless he was their best on ground by far he had 34 disposals 3 goals and 6 clearances he was trying to wield the Swans on to win usually the Norm Smith goes to a player on the winning side which is fair enough but you could have made a pretty stellar argument that Josh Kennedy was the best player on the ground that day I agree very very stiff it's not often a player gets 34 possessions 3 goals and uh, doesn't get the medal on a very similar note Drewsy I'm going to go with one from the very same grand final 2016 decider between the Bulldogs and the Sydney Swans in my opinion, there was another worthy medalist that day. The stats might not suggest it because he's a key position player, but this performance was certainly eye-catching. Playing in the ruck and forward, Tom Boyd had 14 possessions, 3 goals, along with 14 hitouts as well. The dogs that day did have a very makeshift ruck combo. They had Tom Boyd in the ruck as well as Jordan Roughhead and Bonton Pelly, none of whom are now ruckmen. So they were competing against Naismith, who is a more traditional ruckman, and Kurt Tippett. But Tom Boyd did play a very good role in a role where he sort of wasn't playing very often. Yeah. It was traditionally more of a key forward. It's the big moments that stand out, Drewsy. He had yeah. three goals, but that one from the centre square where BT uh, dropped an F-bomb on the yeah. radio, uh, that was an outstanding grand finals moment. It's one that's never really been forgotten. It's up there yeah. with some of the best goals to seal a grand final ever. And maybe this, the stats won't reflect just exactly how good he was on that day. You could probably pick one of the three that we've talked about, including yeah. Johannesson as well, but Tom Boyd would have been a worthy Norm Smith medalist. Yeah, very impactful. And that was the best game he'd ever played by far. I was like, this is the potential that he was drafted to, to perform with if mm. that makes any sense at all um, and yeah he showed it on grand final day and that goal will yeah go down in Western Bulldog folklore in 2017 the Tigers won their first flag against Adelaide and Dusty won the Norm Smith medal which was fair enough but watching this I remember vividly thinking this medal should have gone to Basher Hawley and you've rightly picked him out for this list Jesse thank you Hawley had 25 disposals and a goal off the half back line compared to Dusty's 29 disposals and two goals. Uh, so, yeah, Dusty wasn't an unworthy winner. Crazy to think that he won all three of the Norm Smith Norm Smith medals in uh, all of Richmond's three grand finals. Um, and again in 2019, Hawley was second behind Dusty in disposals, having more possessions than any Tiger, a 96% efficiency, and six tackles. Definitely didn't just read that off the nose. But no, nah, Basha Hawley was yeah majorly impactful in these grand finals for sure. And uh, stiff to not get one, to be fair. A hugely important player for the 
team that Richmond was over those uh, years and maybe he still is but uh, of course he's not going to be part of their future so it'll be interesting mm. to see uh, how the Tigers sort of reload without a player of Basha Hulu's calibre to be second best on ground just about or arguably best on ground in some of those grand finals shows just how good Basha Hulu was. Now we're going to look at the 2018 grand final between the West Coast Eagles and the Collingwood Footy Club in which the Eagles prevailed in one of the grand finals for the ages. The player I'm going to nominate is Domothy Sheed. That's not his real name. Uh, Luke Sheed was the actual <laughs> Norm Smith medalist from this grand final and Luke Shaw is my boy so I don't want to argue against him and he statistically apparently was ranked the best final in a decade uh, up to that point. So hard to argue against Shuey. However, you just need to highlight Dom Sheed's performance on this particular occasion. I think he had something like 11 disposals in the 2015 grand final, admittedly as a young player. But by any standards, that's a, a pretty poor return. But in this grand final, he had 32 possessions and the match winning goal. He was mm. absolutely fantastic. He had eight clearances and then he was also critical, you know, after that winning goal. He made a contest in the middle of the ground that sort of led to another opportunity as well and helped mm. us save the game. So while Shuey was the Norm Smith Obviously, Dom Sheed is kind of the face of that grand final, and you couldn't begrudge the judges picking him for the North Smith medal had they done that. All right, let's move on. The last player on this list, Jesse, is a player who played two nights ago, and uh, we just spoke about him at the start of the video. It's Bailey Fritch. At the game, I sort of thought that Fritch could have been the Norm Smith medalist. It's not often you see a player kick six goals in a grand final, but when you've got Christian Petrarca, who got 39 disposals. Every time he touched the ball, it was dynamite and kicking two fantastic <laughs> goals. Uh, yeah, it, it's hard to contend against uh, big Petrarca. The goals that he kicked as well, they were at vital times in the game. Two in the first quarter and then two to swing the momentum. He kicked two off the first of the third for the days to get him kick started. And yeah, six goals for the game. He made a massive impact up forward and they wouldn't have been the same without him the days on Saturday night. So uh, a bit stiff, but yeah, Christian Petrarca was a rightful winner. Absolutely. Bailey Fritch proved to be an incredibly important player this year. If you mm. would have picked, he'd be one of the most important players in the Premiership side, but he definitely was in terms of how many goals he kicked. And it was a strange grand final where statistically, so many players were had Norm Smith medal performance games. Um, yeah. Someone like an Adam Trelaw, no one would even really have in the top three or four, I'd say, for best on ground, but he had three goals and 27 touches. Yeah. Bond had three goals and 25, and these guys weren't even close to getting the medal. So, yeah. Bailey Fritch uh, had an incredible game and was rightfully judged second best on ground in this grand final. All right, guys, that's a wrap on this particular video. Let me know in the comments uh, if there's another player that you want to nominate. I'm sure we would have missed someone. Let us know in the comments down below without getting too angry and salty at us. <laughs> Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. It's been great fun. Looking forward to grinding some trade period content for you all, and Druzy's going to be similar on his channel. Is that right? Yeah, bit of trade, bit of talk, bit of vlog. Get down tonight. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Okay.